Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to set up a conference with a student, okay, or with students, with a particular class. So I'm going to use my practice class right here. And one of the first things you will need to do is go into settings and go over to navigation because for a lot of us, conferences was down here. We weren't using it, so we just dragged it out of the way for the students. So we need to make sure that conferences is in the top part of our navigation and make sure you go down to the bottom and click save. So that's once you've done that for a class, you don't have to do it for a class again, but you do need to do it first before you try to give students a sign, uh, conferences because if you don't, they won't be able to get to it. So make sure that you put conferences in your navigation before you start. So I'm going to click save and we're going to see that conferences is there so we can click home again or we could have just gone straight into conferences either one and I've done some conferences with some students and we can um, look at it. This is one that I recorded earlier so there's the recording for it. I can come over here and if I don't want to keep them I can delete them. Uh, so all we're going to do here is click plus for starting a new conference, name this conference whatever we wish to name it, um, practice conference, duration here does not mean how long your conference is, that means how long you're going to allow students to enter your conference. So once your conference begins, you can give them 15 minutes to join. You can let them jump in however long they want to throughout the entire session. Um, but 60 minutes is an open window for the students to join your conference. After that, those that are in the conference can stay in the conference. But those that aren't in the conference, by the, whenever you set that time period, won't be able to join it after that. So you can enable recording. I do encourage you, if you enable recording, Make sure your students know that. Even though there is a spot at the top that says recording, make sure that they know that it's being recorded. Um, you can set it for no time limit. It really doesn't matter. Um, long running conferences mean conferences that are lasting for hours. So we don't really need to do that. You can put a description here if you want. Um, going over this week's assignment. And you can invite all the course members, including the observers, or you can choose to remove the observers, or if you don't click either one, you can choose, I want to thank these two for being guinea pigs for me, you can choose, so if you needed to have a specific conference with just one student, if you needed a one-on-one, -on -one, you can do that and makes it private, and the other students don't even know it existed. So I'm going to include all course members, and I'm going to click update and notice now here is the description here's the name of the conference over here if I don't want to keep this I can edit allows me to come back in and change things or I can start so I'm going to go ahead and start and hold on just a second and in another window in another monitor I have a student and we're going to see what that looks like from when a student enters as well in just a second. So how would you like to join the audio? If you don't intend to speak to your kids, you can click listen only, but then you'll be typing everything that you need to type. Or you can choose to use the microphone. There is a built-in microphone in your laptop, or you can get a set of headphones. I happen to have a set of earbuds right here. If your earbuds have the microphone built in or if you have a set of the Bluetooth earbuds that you can connect to your computer uh, you can use those as well as a microphone or you can attach an external microphone if you have one um, or you can use a gaming headset that has a microphone you can connect and use that as well if you would like so I'm going to click microphone I'm just going to use my standard uh, machine microphone and I have to come up here and click allow allow okay. okay I heard the echo test so I clicked yes 
And right now, I'm the only one here because none of my students have come in. This is a standard first page. You do not have to keep this first page. You can click, they got up to six to start with. But what's really cool is you can bring in a presentation. So if you have um, a PDF that you want to work with some kids on, somebody's having a problem getting something done and you want to work with them one-on-one, -on -one, you can upload that PDF here and you and your student can both work on it at the same time. So that's really cool. So I'm going to go over to a new page and I'm waiting on students to arrive. Okay, so here in this student's canvas, he gave me permission, is my practice course. The student's going to go in and there's conferences. And this is what the conference looks like. He, tell, he knows I'm there already because it says in progress. So the student can join. And I'm going to quickly, I'm going to make him listen only. There. And I'm going to. I've muted mine because of the fact of the recording. It's picking up from double places. And so it was really, really bad. Um, but you can see that we have a student in here already. And the student can, on his machine, since he chose headphones only, and you'll know that because right there is a set of headphones. If he had chosen the microphone, you would see a microphone symbol sitting right there. So one of the things you can manage users, you can mute everybody. You can give them all muted. You can save the usernames. You can turn off meeting mute. You can unmute everybody. You can lock viewers and what you want them to be able to do. Create breakout rooms. So if you wanted groups of students to go and do something, you could do that as well. Or if you wanted to write closed captions, you could write closed captions for your students here and they would be able to see them as you were writing. So that's an option there. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to turn off closed captions. So we have those options. Okay. So what can you do with the students? Well, you can draw on the page whatever you need to draw, and you can erase it, clear all the annotations, or this is a multi-user whiteboard right here, right here. So you can click that, and now the student can draw, and you can come in, probably choose another color, and you can draw as well. So lots of things that you can do with this. You can hide this presentation, and then everybody whose cameras are on would come in here. One other thing, um, if for some reason your camera's not working, come right up here to the top, click on that, and tell it to continue allowing. And there's some other tips in the, as well if your camera doesn't work, but I'll put those in another video. So um, I encourage you to use conferences. Right now that's the only thing that works with our Chromebooks. Um, we won't be able to see our students at this point. Uh, that that's a bigger decision than our campus so um, yes and you have a start recording button here so if you wanted to record this you could record this when it's all done you can control when this meeting is over so when you click end meeting yes I want to end the session and I want to show you that it also ends the session for the students okay so in session ends the session. Okay. Any if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call.